Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I'm on the Apple website, and I am on the site because I am preparing to try to pre-order the iPhone 10. Now, by the time you're watching this, I may either have the phone or not have the phone, depending on how successful I am in my pre-order attempts. But in preparation for that, I am looking at some cases that I might want to get for the iPhone 10 because I am a phone protection person. I always have a case on my phone, regardless of how expensive the phone is. I just don't want to break it. So we can go here to the accessories. We go to browse all, let's see, cases and protection uh phone compatibility the iphone 10 and we see here the iphone 10 silicone case and then the iphone 10 leather case they're ridiculously expensive for what they are 39 dollars for the silicone 49 for the leather i owned the leather for my six and it held up really well i have to say it was pretty good quality um there's kind of a shell inside and then leather over top the buttons are actually metal which is nice um, even though they're faced with leather and I had that leather case for over three years. It worked really well, held up really well. Well, It's nice and slim, um, doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone. Not super protective, but pretty nice. I kind of liked it. And I had a dark brown for the 6, but it looks like they don't have that color left for the 10 anymore. They have a Cosmos Blue. Let's see here. Uh, pink Fuchsia. Dark Aubergine. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Charcoal Gray. Taupe. Saddle brown, as we saw, midnight blue, black, and then product red. Every red purchase brings us a step closer to an AIDS-free generation. Please help make a difference. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards the saddle brown, but maybe I want to be a little crazier, get a little wild here. The red is interesting. Maybe the dark aubergine. I don't know. I kind of like that. The purpley black. It's not too crazily, you know, out there, but it has a little dash of color to it. Or maybe the pink fuchsia. Or maybe the cosmos blue. I don't know. We're going to have to decide on that. So I think I am going to get one of these leather cases. And then also, I've been looking at the Spec Products Candy Shell Grip Cell Phone Case for iPhone X. Um, I, again, have one of these Spec cases for my iPhone 6. Again, it held up pretty well for over three years. And this is the case I use when I'm at work. I do construction and the wear and tear that the case can get when I'm doing construction is quite severe and I want more protection for the phone. So that's why I might go for a case like this. It's a uh, raised rubber ridges, provide a no slip grip for your phone, military grade drop protection, certified to meet or exceed mill standard 810G drop test standards. Well, there you go. Patented raised bevel, bezel screen protection, rubberized covers. So it has like a rubber layer inside and then a hard shell on the outside. It is very durable. It is very grippy, which is important because often when I'm working, my hands are wet and dirty and slimy and muddy. And I do like these cases quite a bit. So I was thinking of getting the iPhone 10 version. And I'm thinking of this color, the charcoal gray, dark poppy red. We also have black slate gray, quartz pink river blue white and black and then beaming orchid and mykonos blah blue i'm thinking of either the slate gray the white or the charcoal gray dark poppy red and this is only 22.54 so pretty reasonable for the case well only i guess that's still kind of expensive for a piece of rubber and plastic but anyway these are the two cases i was thinking of getting so if we warp into the future and i'm reviewing a couple cases most likely they will be these ones all right, gang, we are now in the present, or I guess it's possible it's the past now because you're probably watching this quite a bit after I recorded this. I don't know. We're not going to get into that. But basically, you saw me contemplating a couple cases for my iPhone 10. I did manage to get the iPhone 10. It's right here. I'm actually using it to time this episode right now. But I did get the two cases that I was mentioning, the Spec Candy Shell right here. And I did get it in the, what was it, charcoal gray and something, something red. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll remember better than I will because you will have seen the thing that I recorded a couple weeks ago right now. Um, and then I also got the iPhone 10 leather case. Um, I did end up getting the dark aubergine. I'm kind of maybe regretting that now that I see it uh, face to face. 
But anyway, let's take a closer look at these two cases. I'll talk about why I chose them and how I've been using them so far. I've had them for, I guess it's been a little over a week now I've been using both of them. So let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, gang, here we go. We have the spec case, we have the iPhone 10 leather case, we have the Apple iPhone 10 right here. I actually have a screen protector on this now. We may do a video about that soon, but that's why there's that little ridge you can see. It's a tempered glass screen protector by Amfilm, I believe. But I'm not comfortable carrying around this phone naked. It is made of glass. Um, and I don't care how durable Apple says the glass is, if you drop it, it probably will break. So I don't want that to happen. I'm probably gonna get Apple Care Plus at some point too, but for now, I want to wear cases or I want my phone to wear cases. I think these are probably too small for me to wear myself. So here's the iPhone 10 leather case. Here's the spec candy shell. So the candy shell grip is a bit more of a rugged, more durable case. It's a little more bulky. Let's pull it out of the box here. Now I've been using these. I put them in the box just so you can see how they come, but you will notice on the candy shell that it's already getting a little scratched up. Um, like I said, I use this when I do construction work because I don't trust the iPhone 10 case for that. And also the iPhone 10 case is expensive. It's made of leather. It would probably get ruined more quickly if I had it in my pocket all the time when I'm doing construction work. This baby is a hard plastic shell with these rubberized inserts on the outside and then coated with rubber on the inside. It is quite durable. <clears throat> Let me show you how the phone goes in. They recommend that you start at the bottom usually. And then basically every time you put a case on, Siri wakes up. Shut up, Siri. Go away. And there you go. Goes on quite easily. Um, does not obstruct the screen at all. In fact, you can still see bezel around. The buttons are still fairly responsive, still fairly clicky. They're not mushy at all. The camera is completely unobstructed there. I actually might have preferred that it to come a little closer to the camera housing a little bit, but still not bad. And then the bottom, um, I haven't found any lightning connectors that can't connect through this case, but it's still a fairly wide port there. And then the speaker grills as well. Um, I kind of like the fact that it's more closed up for when I'm working because again, I just, there's a lot of slop going on, concrete and mud and dirt and everything flying all over the place. So this offers a little more protection than the Apple case, which is pretty much completely open on the bottom. Um, drop test with this. I'm not going to throw my phone in this and drop it on the concrete, but rest assured with my iPhone six, uh, which is right here, which is now wearing the Apple leather case at the moment. Um, I dropped this several times with this case on and did not get any damage to it whatsoever. You can see the phone is completely undamaged. The screen has a protector on it, but no scratches, no dents, no nothing. Um, this case is very durable. I would trust this for a drop, you know, all the way if you're on at ear height, you have the phone to your ear, you're speaking on pavement, you drop the phone. I think you're going to be safe unless you somehow manage to land right on a pebble on the screen or something because you can see there are these raised ridges over the screen. So even if you drop straight down, the rubber here is gonna take the brunt of that impact. And it's still a fairly slim case for the protection that it offers. And it is really grippy. You get a lot of grip on these rubber sort of raised areas here. And not horrible looking. It's a little too flashy maybe entirely for my taste. Um, I might even prefer just one color but it's not bad. It's not really loud or obnoxious. Um, so I, I recommend this. I've used, like I said, I, I accidentally threw it away. I didn't realize that when I was making the video or when I first started making the video, I threw away the iPhone 6 spec candy shell case. It held up really well, except for right here. You can see this rubber area between the speaker grills and the lightning port. Focus, focus, focus. That broke right there and it was kind of hanging loose. The case still worked fine, um, but basically it just cracked there. But that was the only damage that it had after three years of very harsh work, or harsh, harsh. But that's the only damage it had after three years of very harsh use, like I said, using it while I was doing construction. So yes, I do recommend the Spec Candy Shell quite a bit for under $25, not bad at all. And then next up we have, ugh. shut up Siri, shut up, shut up. Next, we have the iPhone 10 leather case. 
this one ugh, should just pull out. There we go. And we have it here. Now I ended up getting the dark aubergine eggplant as I was sort of contemplating. Uh, so here they recommend you put it in the top first. Interesting. Um, and I'm kind of slightly regretting that. See, here's my iPhone 6 leather case. And this was in the dark brown. They don't offer this color anymore. But I just want to give you an example or give you an idea of how this ages. Um, this is, again, after three years of use. Still holding up really well, but obviously the leather itself has developed quite a bit of patina. Some staining from liquids. This has had coffee and water and some other things spilled on it. But I kind of like how it looks after it's been sort of shined up through so much handling. Um, but yeah, still holding up really well and for $50 at Adu, huh? So here's the dark aubergine. It has this kind of microfiber-ish interior. Very soft on the inside. And then I guess there's plastic inside that and then a layer of leather over top. The buttons are actually metal covered in, I guess that's plastic that they're covered in. For a while I was thinking that was actually leather as well. But when you put the phone on, we'll start at the top as Apple, oops, that's my six. We'll start at the top as Apple recommends. Pop it in, Siri, shut up. Apple is down. Shut up, Siri. Apple's down, oh no. Um, you have a very slim fit a tight fit, but not too hard to get on and off. The buttons are very clicky. I really like how responsive the buttons are with this case on. The mute switch is again, a little difficult to reach, but you can do it. Um, not a very large opening for that on this case. The phone is nice. I really like how this fits up against, or not the phone, the camera. It fits really tightly against the camera housing as opposed to the spec case, as you can see there. The spec has a much larger opening. This one is just right up to the actual camera bump. And also that protects the face of the camera because this protrudes out the back of the phone normally. So when you put it down, it won't lay flat. It kind of rocks this. It's completely flat now, doesn't move. Doesn't add a lot of bulk. Like I said, clicky buttons. The bottom is basically just completely open, which is fine because this is my case for Minimum protection. It still will offer some protection from a drop. I did drop my iPhone 6 a couple times with this leather case, never from more than like waist high, I would say, um, and didn't have any damage to it. The case itself got scuffed a little bit, which have probably been, you might be able to see that on the corner here, scuff there from being dropped. Um, for the most part, they just kind of rub, polish out eventually as you use the case. Um, so minimum protection, Fairly expensive. I like how slim it is. I'm not sure about this color. Um, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. I'm kind of glad that I did something different than just the standard black or brown, which I would normally do. But uh, I don't know. It's maybe slightly feminine. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's all right. I think I'm going to keep it. I was thinking of maybe returning it and getting the saddle brown, but I think I'm just going to stick with the dark aubergine. So I like also that it has a little Apple logo there, understated. Um, I hate the cases that cut out around the Apple logo. I just find that really obnoxious. I'm really glad that the spec case doesn't do that because it's just like, look at me, iPhone, iPhone. God forbid that my Apple logo get covered by a case. And this, it doesn't cover it, but it does have the, just a slight little depression there of the Apple logo. So I think that's fairly classy, I guess. Um, so $50, yeah. It's expensive, but it lasts a long time. It's slim, it's nice, doesn't add a lot of bulk, um, and a lot of color combinations available, or not combinations, but choices available for this particular case. So there you go, gang. That is the iPhone 10 leather case in dark aubergine, or eggplant for Americans. And then the spec candy shell. Ah, I think that the iPhone 10 case is definitely overpriced for what it is, but it is also a very nice case. It's very durable. I like it quite a bit. Is it too expensive? I guess that's up to you. $50 for a very slim leather case um, is kind of out of proportion for what it is, but it does work well. I do like it a lot, and I'm, I guess I'm willing to spend that little bit of extra money. I haven't found a very nice slim leather case like this that's cheaper that is as durable and really does all that the iPhone 10 case does. So I guess I will say that for me, um, it's worth the money. 
the color i'm still not totally sure on it has grown on me a little bit more and then the spec i definitely would recommend for it's a bit bulkier it's not as slim it's not as sleek as the apple case but it does offer really good protection as i mentioned with my iphone 6 i had it in candy shell case like this and dropped it quite a bit at work with muddy slick hands um, and it worked well. That being said, it is very grippy, even though I've mentioned that I've dropped it several times. It's a lot more grippy than a leather case like this or just a you know hard shell uh, plastic case because of these rubber grip marks on it. Um, very durable, I think very reasonably priced. You can get it for under $25 usually on Amazon and quite a few different color combinations available. They both fit the phones very well, um, fairly easy to get on and off. All in all, I'm quite pleased with both of these, and I would recommend that you check both of these out. There will be links in the description below, but thank you guys so much for watching this review of the Spec Candy Shell iPhone 10 case and the Apple Leather iPhone 10 case. I've been your good Fred Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.